Hi, everyone. I want to just say a few words about what's happening now around the world with the pandemic. I know numbers are on the rise and it is very scary and also very difficult for a lot of people on a personal level. I know that there's someone in my family in the hospital right now, and I know others have people in the hospital or people who they've already lost to this pandemic and others who got COVID and now seem to be on the mend, and I'm very happy for them and for you. But I want to make sure that as we approach this holiday season, we want to be able to make sure that we are choosing safety over being with friends and family. At least that's my feeling about it. But also know that isolation is very difficult and very scary for some. And it's a time to reach out to others if you're feeling the need or if you feel like it's a need of yours to reach out to other people or have them reach out to you. Be sure to be in touch. Let people know what you need. And think about people also who are living alone, people who have recently incurred a loss, people who have some health issues and might be nervous about being on their own. This is a time of year, not only because it's the holiday season, but because, again, the numbers are on the rise, which is making people nervous, to really let people know you're there and to let people know that you need to be reminded that they are there if that's what you need. And also, if you're finding it hard to come up with ideas of things to do to entertain yourselves or to connect with people, just ask a teenager. They have come up with very creative ways to get together, to entertain each other, watching movies online together, putting videos together, setting up Zoom calls in all sorts of ways with all sorts of friends. So yeah, ask a kid in your neighborhood what they do for fun during the pandemic. You really will get some great ideas. But I think it's important that you want to do this not just for fun, but because it's so important to not spend the whole day in quiet, if that's not your usual way, so that you feel somehow disconnected from everyone or forgotten about. It's time to visit people in nursing homes, even if you're standing outside and waving through the window and bring a whiteboard and write down the message that you want to be able to send to them. Or it's time to send people some electronics, send them an iPad or whatever else so that you can send them videos, you can send them messages, you can communicate with them face to face, at least electronically. But even though We can't really have as much human touch as we need, and we can't hug each other and hold each other as much as we would like. I think the human touch can be conveyed in other ways. So it's time to call people rather than text them. It's time to sing someone a song. It's time to write someone a card, an actual card with a stamp. And you put it in the mail and they see your handwriting. And that's really wonderful and better than an email. Human touch is also conveyed in sending people home-cooked meals or baked goods and having them contact you when they're eating them so that you can eat together, even if it's online. Human touch is also doing some artwork, sending someone something you've done with your own hands. It's also a good time to rescue an animal. There are many who need to be rescued, but just make sure that while it's a wonderful way to have company during a pandemic, only rescue an animal if you plan to keep it after the pandemic ends. It's also time to send people just the messages, the things that you've been thinking about them, the positive things that you've been thinking about them that you haven't had a chance to say. It's time to say them. It's also good to remember that there are many ways to connect online with support systems and support groups. That's why I have maintained my online former cult member support group every other Wednesday night. And there are other people who want to be able to connect who have had similar experiences. 
you might feel like your experiences are absolutely unique from another person's. And they might be in some ways. But what I've noticed is that when you get a group of people together, there is always common ground. And so I think there's a way for you to connect with people even when you don't realize it. The human experience sometimes has a lot of overlap. So your experience will be understood by many. So if you need other ideas, just ask people for other ideas of ways to connect. And if you need help, reach out. And I wish you all a safe holiday season.